Hi there, let me show you how easy it is to automate following an Instagram user then sending them a message using Axiom.ai and no code browser automation tool. I'm Alex Barlow, co founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. Before I show you how to configure the template, let me just give you a quick bit of context on how this automation works. What it does is read a URL of an Instagram profile from a Google Sheet. It will loop through each row in a Google Sheet visiting those profile pages, by the way. It opens up the first profile page. There, it will click on the follow or follow back button, depending which one is present, just like I've done now. It will then scrape to see if the message button is there. If it's there, it will click the message button and then Axiom will enter a message. As you can see, I've been sending a few test messages to myself. Once that's done, Axiom will delete that row from the Google Sheet that's been processed and then move on to the next row, repeating the process I've just explained. Now, of course, to um, use this automation, you're going to need to install the template. So you can install the template from either inside Axiom by clicking Create New, Start from Template, and looking for social media, or you can install it directly from our website if you go to templates, where you can select this template and many others. And don't forget, all new Axiom users get 60 minutes of free runtime to play around with any of these templates to see if you enjoy browse automation as much as I do. Without further ado, Let's get to the configuration so we can get on and see the awesome part, which is the bot in action and automating my browser. So to configure this template, I'm going to open up the first step, and that is the read data from Google Sheet. This is where we want to pass the data from the Google Sheet that we've got. Um, so we want to pass in, essentially, we're going to be reading the, um, let me find the Instagram message. We're going to be reading the profile URLs. Now, I've only got one included. Let's call select the first tab where I've got them in called post and we can see a preview and I've also in column A we've got the URL and then column B we've got the message. Now that's the first step set up. I'm going to collapse that step. Let's go on to the second step set up, step 2.1 and go to page. This is the step that loads the page. So essentially what we want to do now is pass the URL from the read step into the enter URL step. How do we do this? We click insert data select Google Sheet, select the column with the URL, save and close, and that's the URL within the go to page. Now I can collapse that step and move on to the others. Now click element 2.2 and 2.3. These are the buttons that click the follow or the follow back. So we don't need to set those up, nor do we need to set the weight. And that weight is there just to allow the message button to reappear before we try and scrape it, which is what 2.5 does. The next step we need to configure is basically the message text we want to send. So we're going to expand step 2.65 and we're going to click inside the text because this is where the message is sent. We're going to click inside there and we're going to pass the message from the Google Sheet by selecting the token, and this time column B. Now you can do combinations of text and tokens to make up your message. That means if you have the names in the spreadsheet, for example, you can personalize the message, but have a generic message within the field. That can be quite useful. Okay, that's that step set up. We're almost done now. So I'm gonna collapse, collapse that step to 2.6.5 into text message. Now, just to complete the last step, the delete rows from Google Sheet. This step basically removes the row that's been processed in the loop so that when we loop round to do the next row, we don't repeat the same row. Okay, so what I need to do is select the sheet and we need to select the same sheet name that the um, post links, or sorry, not the post links, the profile links are in. Once that's done, we're ready to test. The bot is set up. Let's watch the magic. Let's watch Axiom automating the browser. I never get tired of this. I'm gonna click run. I'm gonna as usual, I'm going to test on the desktop app, and I'm just going to collapse Axiom because currently I'm not following Axiom. So we expect Axiom to click in and change that. So Axiom has now 
opened up my profile page and we should any second now see it click the follow back button. We should click, there it goes. It's now following. Now it's gonna scrape for the message button. It's gonna find the message button. So we should see the if condition execute and we should close the not now. And my hands are here. I'm not doing any of this. This is the bot and actually we'll type in that message and it will send it before looping through to the next row. So I'm going to click stop there because it's already following. That's a simple bot you can make and set up yourself to follow um, Instagram users and send a message. So you've seen the magic. Hopefully you've been inspired watching the browser bots in action. It's pretty cool automating your browser. Keep in mind you can customize any template. So they're great starting points for beginners. All you need to do is open up the step finder and add in new steps where and as you need them. Okay, um, finally on every template page, you'll also find a section of tips that can help you problem solve. But if you really do get stuck, top menu, click on support, fill in the form, share your axiom, Describe in a screen recording what the issue is and we'll get back to you with a solution. Thank you for trying Axiom.